Today we are headed into Dollar General and finding some brand new items perfect for 2022. I'm finding lots of new trendy home decor, organization pieces, and lots of items that can easily be made over or easily tweaked in five minutes or less to make these fit into my home decor. So lots of new finds and tons of DIYs coming up. I do want to thank Thrive Market for sponsoring today's video, but let's go ahead and jump on into shopping for our newest DIYs. I love going treasure hunting at the Dollar General. They always have the best stuff. They have so many inexpensive items that you can put to good use. You never know what you're gonna find. Plus, Dollar Generals are everywhere. I live in a smaller town and we have over 20 Dollar Generals within like a 30 minute radius. So that is a ton, that's crazy to me. So I ran into a few of them to see what they are putting out and to find some new items to DIY with. I think it was a little bit too early still for Valentine's decor, but I still found lots of more items that were out for like everyday home decor or for organization, which is perfect for the new year. I saw lots of nautical decor, lots of blues, and while I don't have a ton of blue decor in my home right now, it was hard to pass on these blue bead strands. I thought they were a great price and really pretty. This is something that you could make at home, but it is very inexpensive and sometimes it can be a little bit tricky to color or paint your own beads. I saw a lot of empty space on the shelves in between the items that I was shopping for, so I cannot wait until we get a little bit closer to spring to see what all they're gonna come out with. They always put out like these fun little collections of different style of items. I was pretty impressed with these large wooden boxes. They had it in white, this gray wood color with the rope handles. They're really sturdy and a nice size. I thought this white one would go perfect on my desk or in my office. It could hold like my planner and notebooks with some little pins in there. So I really wanted to dress one up for that. But I was also thinking that this would be a really fun like little caddy to put like on the back of your toilet. You could put one on your nightstand if you want to hold little books or your glasses or something just for extra storage. But I found this neutral colored wooden heart for a dollar. This is one of the only Valentine items that I could find, but I still thought it was really adorable. I did adjust the bow just a little because it was hiding the words and I felt like it looked a little bit nicer pulling it off and attaching it to the top corner. But I glued this on the front of the box and although it was a little bit big, it stuck up at the top. I thought that gave it some really cool dimension and thought it turned out adorable. Speaking of wooden boxes, I found the perfect thing to DIY with. So a lot of the Dollar Generals I was going into still had leftover Christmas stuff. So for a while it's been 50%, but some stores are even going at 70%. I ended up finding this wooden box with this Christmas floral in it. Now I got this at 50% off. It was a little bit too early. It just depends on which store you're going into. And then a lot of it just kind of is how much stuff they have left. So I found out the ones that had a ton of stuff left were marked it down faster to try to move product. I'm sure they are wanting to empty out their shelves and get ready for spring and Valentine's decor, but I thought this was a great price at half off. So not only does it have this beautiful distressed planter box, which is what I'm wanting to DIY with, I was able to pull out all of the Christmas greenery and I'll be able to save that for next year. And that is at least a couple of bucks, especially if you were shopping at Dollar Tree, worth of greenery, which I'm always using for Christmas. And I used all of mine up this year, so I'll save that for next year year but it also already had all the styrofoam down inside it felt really sturdy I didn't have to add anything to this it was super simple to pull the greenery out and just replacing it with some more of my spring looking picks this is just leftover picks that I had from last year at Dollar Tree but something I'm definitely shopping for to get my hands on some more high quality greenery I've already checked Walmart and they look like they still have like Flowers coming out for spring, but not a ton of just spring greenery. So definitely looking for that. Put my green picks in and then added a couple of these laser cut keys to the front from Dollar Tree. And I feel like this looks perfect for spring. I have 
have tons more Dollar Journal DIY and hacks coming your way, but I want to take a second to thank Thrive Market for sponsoring today's video and tell you a little bit more about them. Thrive Market is an online marketplace on a mission to make healthy living easier and affordable for everyone. I have been trying to be more aware this year. It's my number one goal just to kind of be more aware of what I'm eating and choosing healthier snacks. So Thrive Market definitely helps me to stay on track. You can find everything you need from thousands of wholesome food choices, home products, beauty products that are curated just for members. I love how you can filter shopping by your values and preferences, whether you are paleo, gluten-free, vegan, or even feed in a bigger family. They have several different options and something that you can customize to fit everyone. I love how with every paid membership, they give a free membership to a low-income family. You get free shipping on orders over $49, and Thrive Market is risk-free so that you can make sure that it's right for you. Thrive Market makes it simple to find the items that you love and fits perfect into your lifestyle, and they ship it straight to your door, which I think makes it super convenient. And I was actually really surprised about how much cheaper these items are than when I did purchase them in the grocery store. You can see all of these delicious delicious looking snacks and meal options that I chose for my family. I definitely got stocked up in something that I can grab and snack on while I'm crafting and they're healthy options so it's not like I'm just sitting here and eating junk food while I craft. It's super easy to get signed up. All you have to do is go to thrivemarket.com slash craftswithcaitlin. The link will be down in the description box so go use that so that you can get 40% off your first order plus a free gift. I went with the 12 month membership because it goes down to $5 a month but you can just pay monthly if you don't want to sign up for a commitment like that or if you just want to try it out risk free. So be sure to go click the link down below and get signed up for Thrive Market today. Thank you once again to Thrive Market for sponsoring today's video and let's head back into the Dollar General. But not to fret if you can't find any of the Christmas clearance or any marked down items. Still take a minute to check out Dollar General's planters and um, they have some really good ones that are inexpensive and ready to go. I found this concrete one for $3, added in some cute succulent pigs, some little Spanish moss, and it looks like something that you would pick up at any other home decor store for over 10 bucks, and I put this together for around five. Another hack for a higher end look but spending less money is to check out Dollar General's huge vases. So they have a ton to pick from these tall ceramic pieces that you can just put like a floral pick in and it looks super nice. It will add so much height to your space without breaking the bank. This large vase was one of my favorites. It was had like this ribbed shiny pattern, but the bottom had like this cream stone look. And I wasn't crazy about the cream color at the bottom. So I did my faux concrete hack of mixing some baking soda with some gray chalk paint. I lightly mixed those together. I've learned that you don't want to over mix because you want that baking soda to kind of not get too wet. You, whenever you rub it on the planter, you want it to create that like stone texture. So don't over mix, but whenever you do brush this on the bottom, it gives you the perfect texture and darkens up the bottom to add the perfect contrast. So I love the difference between the white and the gray versus what it looked like before with just the cream color. I found these marble slab pieces. This larger marble slab was like a stone trivet, which reminded me of a huge stand that I purchased from Hobby Lobby last year, which was very expensive. I am thinking it was like $40. I definitely got it on sale, so maybe it was like 40% off, which is still kind of pricey for just like a stand. But this was only $6 for this marble slab, and I took it and created the same look by adding a glass container from Dollar Tree underneath, just gluing it to the bottom. I spray painted it first with gray. I was going to do the same gold color that was on like the stand that I have, but I ran out of gold spray paint, so gray it was. But I literally got the same high-end look for a fraction of the cost. They also had these mini slabs for the coasters, and I kind of did the same thing. I glued them on these wooden stands that I took off of some Dollar Tree Vote of Candles and used them as mini risers and candle holders for that same modern look.
These signs are one of my favorite DIYs in this video. I found the most adorable little white signs with a wood kind of frame around it. They had one that said home and then at a different store I found a matching love one but they just look so plain. So for the love sign I removed a few screws in the back to take off the metal plate. I gave the outside form or border a white dry brush look and then replaced the back and added some pink scrapbooking paper just by gluing it to the back so those words aren't see-through and this is just going to match more of my valentine's day decor i also glued a few dollar tree burlap roses to the corner i got those at dollar tree and i feel like it gave it this complete makeover So I did the home sign a little bit different. I didn't want to paint the frame white. I love that wood border so it kept like that boho look. So I added some black paper to the backing because I didn't like that you could see through these words like I mentioned. And I liked it just being solid. I feel like the black really showed up good. I added greenery into the corners just cutting this off of some old picks that I had and wrapped the top with twine with a little bitty bow and turned it from something plain into more my style within five minutes. I love that Dollar General puts out and doesn't skimp on organizers. So they have tons of different organizers, baskets, containers, and they're actually very trendy pieces. I love this black metal container. I thought it was kind of a unique piece. It was tall with a wooden handle. I thought it would be perfect to hold all of my paintbrushes, and I thought it was pretty plain. So using my Cricut, I cut out this cute decal that goes perfect in my craft room. I stuck it on the container and put my brushes inside. I definitely think this will help me keep my paintbrushes in one place and not let them kind of get lost in my crafting drawers, but still a really cute project to display in my craft room. Next is one of my favorite decor hacks when you are needing to add a little bit of elevation to a space and wanting to dress it up without having to DIY something hard. So this adorable little white shelf has a gorgeous design. I love how short and square it is, so it fits perfect on a table. So instead of hanging it up, I place it on my entryway table to hold my plants and decor. You could set anything on this. Um, you can set a photo frame, but it adds so much height to that space without having to paint or DIY anything. Did you know that Dollar General has a crafty section? So definitely check that out. They have some good stuff. While it's not up to par with Dollar Trees just yet, they don't have quite the selection. They still have like some nice items. And in my opinion, since you are paying more than the dollar or dollar 25, they are giving you better quality. Definitely watch, there is some items that you can find cheaper at Dollar Tree, but also some nice items that's fun to use that you can't exactly get at Dollar Tree. So definitely check them out, but you can see I found so many things. I found stencils, wood letters, pre-made signs. Um, it looks like they are bringing out even more pre-made signs and wood items and trays. Lots of like raw wood pieces that can be painted. They had ribbons and just tons more. I picked a couple of these wooden signs up that I thought I could DIY with. They have like this gray border and using the stencils I found just for a dollar, I added some words to them. I love how these frames have like the little pegs on the back so it looks like you could easily remove the bag if you needed to. And that just makes it so much easier when you're painting or DIYing something. But I put the words on there with the stencils. I did it a couple of different ways. The first stencil bled through just a little bit so I tried to go around it with some black permanent marker. So you have to let me know how that turned out. So for the second one, at the top, I just traced the blessed word with my Sharpie and then I painted inside of that. So either way works. They both turned out really, really pretty. I also found these huge metal clips that were so sturdy and nice. Glued those directly on the sign and thought these would look really cute adding in some photos or notes, but I printed out a little menu paper so that I can actually use this and make it functional and set it in my kitchen so we know what we're eating for dinner. I also want to mention if you're into making t-shirts just for fun, not for business, but just for fun if you wanted to make some like shirts for your family or kids or I don't know, just for fun, definitely check out Dollar General. They have a huge selection of plain like Hanes or Gildan shirts that are very inexpensive. They had a ton of different colors. All of these are blank and some of them are even on sale. So super inexpensive, grab them. If you do have any plans, I know we always like for school are making fun little t-shirts or for parties. So a really great place to pick them up.
It was so much fun checking out all of the different Dollar Generals in my area. They all were so different, but yet kind of putting out the same things but they always have the best decor items at the best prices. I picked up this utensil holder. I feel like it was so pretty and modern looking. This boho sign was gorgeous. I definitely had to bring that home with me. Let me know if you shop at Dollar General or what you've been finding. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. Remember to go check out Thrive Market. So much fun, so convenient, and it is risk free. If you wanna go check the link down in the description box, it's thrivemarket.com slash crafts by Caitlin, and that you can get signed up. If you use that code or that link, you can get 40 percent off your order plus a free gift so definitely take advantage of that deal while it is available thank you all for joining me today on a fun dollar general video let me know in the comments down below if you like dollar general or if you're just sticking with dollar tree i would love to know but like i said thumbs up subscribe and i'll see you in the next one happy crafting <laughs> bye the dollar general